In this session, I will show how to install Bioconductor. I've already installed R on my system, in this case R version 3.2.1, which is the latest version available when I made this recording. I've also installed R Studio, and I've started up R Studio, and I'm watching the R console inside of R Studio. The way we install Bioconductor is we source a script from the internet we call BioC Lite. The first time the script is, stalled, is sourced, it installs a package called BioC Installer that provides the main functionality, but you don't need to think about this. Basically, you have a single function available called BioC Lite, and executing this function without any arguments installs a minimal core set of packages from Bioconductor. In this case here, uh, around eight or nine packages. Because I'm on a fresh install installation of R, and because R moves forward all the time, even some of the packages that ship with R have been updated since R 3.2.1 was released. So now I'm being asked whether I want to update these core packages of R, and in order to keep a fully updated system, I'm going to say that, yeah, let me update all of them. The way you keep your uh, Bioconductor installation updated is you essentially run BioC Lite without any arguments. It'll uh, check whether or not all of the packages you have are the latest version. You can also run that uh, check from the command line by running a function called BioC Valid, which basically checks whether all of the Bioconductor packages you have are the right version, the right and the latest version. So Bioconductor is tied to a specific version of R. Using BioC Lite makes sure that all the packages you're using are synchronized with respect to their version number, and it's the right version for your version of R. The number one problem people seem to have on the internet is that, or on the internet uh, related to Bioconductor, is that they mix and match Bioconductor packages from different versions of Bioconductor. That is a recipe for disaster, and I highly recommend never using anything else but BioC Lite to install Bioconductor. The way you install a single new package on Bioconductor is you, get, you basically run BioC Lite with a vector of package arguments. In this case, let's install the uh, very well-known or famous Lima package. Sorry, I ran BioC Lite, BioC Valid here. Um, and uh, I get it. So that's basically as easy as it can be. There's a lot of people who like to run uh, the development version of Bioconductor. They want to live on the bleeding edge and get the latest and greatest in bug fixes and uh, usability enhancements. I'm one of those. Running the development version of Bioconductor obviously means that you are sacrificing some stability. Things can break from day to day, and we are not going to do that in this class here. But later on, I'm going to do a session on how to uh, run and uh, use the development version of Bioconductor for the people who are really interested in living on the bleeding edge.